So hello, welcome to the tent. This is uh, uh, just outside Abbey St. Bavins, uh, on the Suffolk Way, and it's a wild camp spot uh, just next to this nice little uh, stream, river, burn, whatever you want to call it, is there. There's my boots. Hey, boots. Hello, boots. And uh, here's me. Hello. So I thought I should show you the tent, because uh, this is the last time I'm using it on this trip. It's uh, a Terra Nova laser competition tent, which is, sorry I just have to move myself, get somewhere more comfortable. Uh, it describes a 1.5 person tent, and it's brilliant for backpacking because it comes in at under a kilogram, unlike most uh, tents on the market, which are about, for one person tents, usually about two kilograms or one and a half if you're lucky. Um, it's all made of lightweight alloy poles and things, and uh, it's been pretty sturdy. Um, but most impressively is actually how much space is inside. If I show you inside, here we go. This is inside my tent. Uh, and as you can see, the, right at the end there, that's a pile of clothes I use as my pillow. Here's the sleeping mat with the sleeping bag on top. And I've got a bit of space back here for stuff which usually gets cluttered up with books and uh, stuff bags and things like that. Um, quite usefully, there's a lot of space along the side here as well. Uh, at night, this is this is one of my dry bags, my rucksack. But at night, this is where I put my put my rucksack. And at the end, you've got a bit of space there as well. And this end here, I usually keep uh, for some reason right next to my head. Uh, anything uh, slightly smelly or sweaty, um, like in this case, my gaiters. Um, not quite sure. What I was thinking of thinking about it. On this end down here, if we lift up the flap, this is food corner. Uh, my cooker would normally be here, but I haven't packed it yet. But there's the uh, the exciting powdered milk, and uh, this is the all important coffee. There's a tea somewhere as well. And you see, there's quite a bit of, quite a bit of room here at these ends. And just if you go back there, you'll see the walking poles which I have packed uh, away on the other side. So it's quite a bit of gap on this end as well. On the back. Um, <sighs> bit of space for the roof, there's the roof. Uh, there's a bit of mark, probably a dead midge or something. And this is the best bit, this is the view. There's my boots. Um, yeah, not bad at all. Um, given this is my size, my rucksack is 80 litres. Now I'm just going to my foot. Um, what I do is put anything I'm not using in the rucksack and compress it down as much as I can at night uh, and that usually just fits right in this gap nicely. Um, the only drawback I can perhaps tell you, in fact there's probably two drawbacks I can tell you, one is that uh, the tent uses these um, lightweight titanium pegs that are wonderfully lightweight, about two, kilog uh, two, two kilograms, they're two grams each. Uh, but they have a habit of pinging off and getting lost in the undergrowth and I've lost so far on this trip I've lost three. I lost one this morning and uh, I haven't been camping every night so it's quite a, a high turnover. Uh, the other problem is, if I see you in here again, in the morning sometimes when it's warm especially this got a bit of condensation here and you have to be quite careful getting out but uh, there you go. In general, not a bad tent, it's, it's done me well. Well, I should add one of the, the real nice things I've found about this tent is uh, I've been sleeping with, with my left hand side towards the door every night for some reason. I've, I've thought about changing, but now this seems to work quite nicely. Uh, and just lying here right now, I realise one of the benefits of that is 
if I lie here now and have the door open and there's no midges, which <laughs> has been quite a rarity in this trip, but there aren't tonight. But I can just lie here and I'll turn the camera around and I can look out. I can look out at the world and feel very happy. Good night.